going to round number two. Steven Rosenthal was supposed to be sitting in the left-hand lane. Eliminations is big tire, eighth mile, no time. We saw Bodie let out early in the quarter last night, went 6-0. So yeah. it's somewhere in the five second range for that car. And then the Pro Mod, I'm guessing, is going to be pretty similar in the quarter. Let's see what they do in the eighth mile right now. Second round. We're out here at Streetcar Super Nats, the strip in Las Vegas. Our first time being here, but I'm familiar face. Yeah. Met you, what, six, seven years ago yes, down in Compton on the streets ago, with the yeah. Street Outlaws. Yeah. Bodie's in the house with your beautiful new Camaro. I want to hear all about this. What's the story on this car? Uh, story on this car, man, I uh, actually bought it from a guy. It was a small tire car. Took it in. I had about a year. Made a bunch of changes uh, to get it ready for no prep. That's really what it's uh, uh -huh. designed to race. Brought it out to no prep scene. Struggled a little bit. New car blues, you know. No prep is kind of, you know, it's difficult trying to figure your car out there. Sure. Got it together, man. And, uh, brought it home. I said, I gotta get this car back to Cali and just take some time with it. I went to Pomona uh, last week, struggled, hurt the motor, first pass. Got here, struggled with wheelies all weekend. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, finally, finally got the car happy and uh, I feel like we got a race car, man. Last night we saw your, your partial pass, the board light up 6.00, and that was a jaw dropping moment. Well, <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a you know a no time car. Sure. And um, I thought I pulled the, the shoots and the brakes enough, but uh, I'm not used to running to the quarter. Yeah. And I didn't realize the momentum your car carries out the back door. You for know, sure. me and that uh, I'm an eight mile racer and a grudge racer. I never get a time slip for a quarter mile uh, time on it, so I went just a little too fast. <laughs> So let's talk about the combo under the hood. What are you running? Uh, still, uh, actually, a lot of people don't didn't know that. I still have the same uh, engine combination out of my Nova. Really? And power Red plant, car. everything is here. I just changed the computer up, updated it. It's still huh. running Hall Tech, but uh, it's the same everything. Same turbos, same everything. And a lot of people don't understand. Uh, I struggled with that car because it just was, it over exceeded itself. You know, the car just couldn't yeah. handle the power. You know, we had the, car, the right platform. We had the car so turned down. And now that I got a, a, a car that can handle the power, I'm, I'm super excited to see what I can do. Really? Yeah. And how many cubes size turbos you got here? Um, that's a, this is a 5, 26-inch uh, motor with a 98-millimeter turbo. So I just switched up. I had 88s with no prep. And now I uh, put my 98s on here because I'm trying to go fast. So That's a lot of boost. A lot of boost, man. And the color, I got to ask you, is this a stock color on something or is it custom? I'm glad you asked that. I get that question a lot. It's an actually um, custom color. They made it. It actually has a green pearl in it. Um, really? Custom color made it. Yeah, and then they, they twisted it up for me. So we we. We made this color, so you won't see this color no more else. <laughs> what else do we know about the car? Well, uh, you should know that it's coming for a lot of people, man. I ain't going to start naming names right now, but on the no prep scene now, um, the way the car is running, uh, I'm just super excited, man. I, I, I feel like I've always been uh, coming to a, a gunfight with a knife. And now, um, I think next year I'm going to be prepared to come out there with a car that can compete on any level. And that, that go a long way, man, because um, you can't win races without purpose-built cars nowadays. These cars are flying, man. Well, it's a treat to see it out here. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate it, man. It's, you know, you guys give us a lot of exposure, man. I appreciate you guys taking the time to come out and put us on these, you know, get us out here. Because the more, the more we stand people face, the more people going to know about us. You know what I mean? So right. I think I'm going to gain a lot of respect with this car. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, man. man thank Good you, guys. This man. Yes, sir. Appreciate thank you. It.
still take it home with the win. Moving on to the next round. <laughs> there's no sleeping in there's no sleeping in drag racing. <laughs> Firebird over here. He said he's turned it up to see if he'll do a number. You don't see the times down there, but they do give a time slip. He said even if it does spin, he thinks he can still cover the other car, so let's see what it does. Here at 2.15 in the morning, Monday morning at Streetcar Supernat said the track is too cold and unsafe for the racers to continue racing, so be on the lookout for this in 2022. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.